Hello there guys, it's Ren here today I'm bringing you episode 9 of my assault rifle series. In this gameplay I'll go 30 to 3. Uh, quite a good gameplay, get a cool 11th kill, throw a C4 up a, to someone, you'll see that coming up guys. Right off the start I get shot in the back, pretty uh, pooey or shitty or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, it happens, just done the uh, claymore and just run upstairs and finish off the guy camping away. Quite often find someone coming up here in a free for all. He almost does kill me back. Oh, wouldn't have been good if I had one of the guys. Anyway, guys, to the commando. Um, this is a highly favourite uh, game in um, game. I'm on a, a highly favourite gun in this game for me. Um, to be honest, I feel it's a highly favourite gun for everyone. To be honest, it's very good, very easy to use. You did just hear my phone go off. Yes, guys, I am planning on um, the uh, with all my mates getting ready, just planning to see who wants to come with me because I'm going to midnight launch it for. Uh, Battlefield, come on now, don't even play that game for Modern Warfare 3, can't wait guys, so psyched for that I'll speak to you more about Modern Warfare 3 and how I'm feeling about it in the, the next episode um, back to the commando um, just camping up in this circular electrical building don't have a clue what you'd call it but i just call it the circular electrical building pick off a couple of kills here guys and um, pick them off quite easy because the commando has a high accuracy has a good power, it's the same as the um, Galil and all other stats, but the commander has a one up on the accuracy. As you can see, it's uh, quite steady and very easy to get some kills off. Get a little four, was it? Yeah, I think it's a fourth kill streak in there, just uh, camping out a bit. I just hop out now and um, go on a little explore, and soon, guys, you will see the uh, C4. I'd say it's pretty cool C4, to be honest. Pretty sneaky, just he's just camping away, so just throw it up at him. Keep an eye out for that, guys. And if you think it's cool, could you give the video a like? And as you can see, just uh, just running around, really. Can't really can't really camp out in a free for all. I don't know see see how people um, can camp out in a free for all and still find it easy and not get bored. Oh, like final stand. Well, it's not final stand, last stand. One of the worst perks ever invented. Always get done over by them guys, but I was lucky enough to realise. Get quickly get the reload while jumping and uh, spray back at him. Would have been pretty annoyed if he would have got me, because I absolutely hate the perk as it is. And it oh, little double kill. And then back to it as I did say, I was hating the um the last stand perk. But this blackbird. Gosh, probably one of the most helpful kill streaks ever in free for to be honest guys. Stops out all hack uh, hack campers and me, what about hackers? Here we go guys, here comes a sneaky little C4, camping away up on the radar dish thingy. And that gets me my 11 kill streak for the dogs. And, oh, not my mic, sorry about that. This is the um, commander, as I've been saying, a highly like this weapon. I'm sure, as I've probably repeated this, everyone else will probably highly like it. Um, I prefer to carry the attachment of extended mags, because I'm more of a ground war player. But I do also like it with um, red dot or sciencer find with the red dot in free for all because it's a lot easier to aim down the red dot side than it is with the iron sights so it's easier to notice your targets but when you're playing ground war I don't like carrying warlord because it's a big team game and you often come up against more than one or two opponents and it's alright if you come up with one or two or 30 mags magazines 30 bullets in your mag but if you come up to uh, more than that um, it kind of seems to not be effective as you can see guys thought that sniper would still be there, I'm not sure if he was, so I just ran away. Sorry for yawning guys, a bit tired, but just thought I'd get this out while it's all fresh in my mind. Um, if you have you ever used a commando, which I'm sure virtually everyone that will watch this video probably has, you'd see that it's a very um, good weapon, easy to use. It's unlocked at a high level, but it's worth it. Definitely one of my favourite weapons. But the favourite weapon at the moment for me is the Famous, as I've always been saying, because it's just so overpowered, it's just easy to use, and you can get amazing gameplays with it. If you go back and check some of my gameplays, guys, you'll see that I do have some awesome gameplays when I've got the Famous. Anyway, guys, coming to the end of the video. I um, hope you've enjoyed this series so far, and hope you're going to enjoy the last series. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about how I'm feeling for Modern Warfare 3, and can't wait for it to come out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, favour this video, and share on Facebook and Twitter get my last kill as a drop shot please subscribe and um, keep an eye out for episode 10 with the g11 thanks for watching guys see you later